I am now joined by Mr. Jay Foreman. Hello again. Good evening, Jay. Good evening. Back on the show again. Yeah, for the first time since since they were last. Since time. they, yeah, since they were last. No, time. I can't get on the show without them. They can't get on the show without me. Is it like that? Is it sort of a relationship? I, right? I don't know. It's probably just a coincidence. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. So, Jay, Acoustic Bob, you were in there. I was with yesterday. a with a band, but not with the usual stuff. It was yeah, it was with a band with Ed Forth and Dan. I still don't know his surname. Easy Way Out. <laughs> Dan, yeah, Dan and Ed from Easy Way Out right, okay. and me, we formed a new band called Little Yellow Birds. Yeah, and you didn't do it too bad? We, we came joint second with The Morning Thieves. That's but not then, bad. We, then we played Rock, Paper, Scissors, and so then we came third because they won that. Do you but get they, anything from third? They've been practicing. We got a green kazoo. A green kazoo? We wanted the red one, but we lost, so we had to get the green kazoo. Second place got a red kazoo. Yeah, we gave it to Dan. I think he deserves it because I haven't learned his surname. Right, well, that's probably, that's probably a good point. Yeah, um, all the bands, are you in any other bands at the moment? I'm in a really shit band at the moment yeah. called The Love Apples. Yeah, is that not very good? Not particularly, no. no. <laughs> Entering Battle of the Bands with them? <laughs> um, I don't know, are we? I think we are, yes. Yeah, let's yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, Right, okay. Um, also, something I learned today when I was um, doing the graphics, that you have a website. Yes, I, I finally have a website. You do? It's been a, I, I had a, a temporary website on GeoCities, but now I've finally got it fixed. And I have a proper website with a proper name. Which is? www.jforman.co.uk it is, There it is on the bottom of the screen, right here. So if anybody wants to go there, what will they find on that website? <laughs> um, when it's finished, they'll find um, video clips and information about the next CD, which is going to come out in January, hopefully, if I get it finished in time. Where are you recording that? All sorts of places. My brother's house, my house, uh, my friend Matt's house. I'm going there tomorrow. Okay. Matt, as in Matt Clark? That's the one. The one that did the last CD. The one that did the last CD. Right, okay. Well, people can look out for that in January, yeah? January. Okay, I'm going to let you get on with it and uh, play you. some Christmassy tunes for us, I hope. I'm going to play a very Christmassy song. It's Christmas over here. It's Christmas over there, it's Christmas on the ground, it's Christmas in the air, it's Christmas on the land, it's Christmas in the sea, it's Christmas time for you, it's Christmas time for me, but there'll be no Christmas for poor little Timmy, poor little Timmy, poor little Timmy, no there'll be no Christmas for poor little Timmy, cause poor little Timmy is dead it's christmas time for me it's christmas time for you it's christmas in korea it's christmas in peru it's christmas in japan it's christmas in chile it's christmas time for you it's christmas time for me but there'll be no christmas for poor little davy poor little davy Poor little Davy, no, there'll be no Christmas for poor little Davy, cause poor little Davy is poor. It's Christmas very near, it's Christmas very far, it's Christmas in the house, it's Christmas in the car, it's Christmas for the dog, it's Christmas at YSTV, it's Christmas time for you, it's Christmas time for me, but there'll be no Christmas for poor little Mikey. Poor little Mikey, poor little Mikey. No, there'll be no Christmas for poor little Mikey, cause poor little Mikey is an Islamic fundamentalist. <laughs> Thank you very much. And now the next song is an audience participation song. I'm going to need help from the moguls and from Danny here and from anybody else in here who's holding a camera or lying. What are you doing? <laughs> Anyone who wants to take part can take part. Everyone loves Dick Van Dyke, he's the man who acts and sings. Apparently he's been in lots and lots and lots of things. But apart from Mary Poppins, what else has Dick Van Dyke been in? Oh wait, yeah, he was also in Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. I really like that film because there was a flying car. But apart from Chitty Chitty Bang Bang and Mary Poppins, what else has Dick Van Dyke been in? Yeah, he was also in Diagnosis Murder. I really like that show because he solved all those murders. But apart from Diagnosis Murder and Chitty Chitty Bang Bang and Mary Poppins, what else is Dick Van Dyke been in? Famous! Why is TV? No, he wasn't. Oh, wait, yeah, he was also in the Dick Van Dyke show. I can't believe we all forgot that he was in the Dick Van Dyke show, seriously. But apart from the Dick Van Dyke show and Diagnosis Murder and Chitty Chitty Bang Bang and Mary Poppins, what else is Dick Van Dyke been in? Your mum! 
But yeah, he was also in my mum. Actually, that would be quite cool, because then Dick Van Dyke would be my dad. But apart from my mum and Dagnus Murder and Chitty Bang Bang and the Dick Van Dyke Show and Maybe Beans, what else is Dick Van Dyke mean in? The Dick Van Dyke Show in Mrs. Dalfire. <laughs> I never thought of that, that's really clever one there. Apparently he was on the Dick Van Dyke Show, which was also on Mrs. Dalfire. But apart from the Dick Van Dyke Show on Mrs. Dalfire and the real Dick Van Dyke Show and my mum and Chitty Chitty Bang Bang and Dyke Mrs. Murder and Maybe Poppins, what else is Dick Van Dyke mean in? Yes, apart from <laughs> all those things and Mary Poppins, what else is Dick Van Dyke mean in? In in. I bought a balloon for 20 pence when I was at the fair. I dropped it by mistake and it went right into the air. I missed it oh so terribly when up and up it flew. And then I had a horrible thought. It probably missed me too. But one thing made me happy as it floated in the sky. It must have had a lovely view because it was up so high. <laughs> Captain Bird's eye. Who are he could be coming to your town, he could be coming to your street, and you'll be fast asleep, so he'll get away with it. He take a children in his ship and sail far away. And what he's gonna do with them, I do not like to say. <laughs> Captain Bird's eye, Captain Bird's eye, Captain Bird's eye. Captain Birdseye, who are he's taking kids from everywhere, from the north and from the south. He put his fishy, fishy fingers <laughs> right inside their mouth, <laughs> and he teases them all day and promises them treats, but gives them fishy, fishy fingers and nothing else to eat. Eh? Captain Birdseye, Captain Birdseye, Captain Birdseye. Captain Birdseye, who are right now when I go Captain Birdseye, you go Captain Birdseye, Captain Birdseye, Captain Birdseye, Captain Birdseye, who are keep going Captain Birdseye, fishy fishy fingers in the children's mouth and nothing else to eat, and he freezes them and puts them in the children's mouth. I is fucking scared of Captain Birdseye. That's the first time I've done that. Well, that I've done that before, but not like that. You like talking about the, the song, sorry. Yeah. The audience participation. I've never done that before with that song. I enjoyed that. I think I'm going to do that. Captain Birdseye. Captain Birdseye, indeed.